Hello everyone, my name is Ramesh Chuk. In last two sessions, we discussed about merchant reconciliation, a 500 message and a 320 message. We have also seen how a missing transaction is getting processed in between post and acquirer. Now in this session, we will complete the merchant settlement process. We will see how the merchant is actually getting paid. So those who are directly watching part 3 of chapter 5, my suggestion is to first of all watch part 1 and 2 so that you can have better understanding of end-to-end -end merchant settlement process. We have an acquiring bank, Bank A. Those who are doing the acquiring of different different channels like IVR, POS, MPOS, e-commerce. So it can be any acquiring system. Now when the acquiring bank receive a transaction or a reconciliation, so we know there are two process which we already discussed. One is the authorization, other one is the reconciliation. How internally in acquiring bank they handle all these two we have already seen. But now how these two are actually a part of merchant settlement that is something we, ne we need to understand. When the authorization is received here, the acquiring bank will log the authorization data all the ISO fields, the card number, amount, chip data, max type data, whatever is there, okay, they will save it somewhere in the database and they will send a response back, a successful response back. So when the acquiring bank sends a successful response back to post device, there is another flag in the system, capture to settle. So we are using capture to settle, how it depends on bank, they can name it as per their choice or as per their business. So when the authorization is approved, the acquiring bank will mark this flag with no. No means in this state, so for in this state, a merchant cannot be settled because there is another lag. When at the end of day, merchant will submit the batch reconciliation, which is a 500 message, acquiring bank will reconcile the batch will check if the count number of transaction or the amount both okay if both are same everything is good then acquiring bank will send a successful response back to the post machine 510 and then they will change the flag to y so let's suppose if there are 12 transaction in this batch okay amount so now what this acquiring bank will do they will take all the 12 transactions all the 12 transaction and will mark the flag to Y. So now it, it means whatever the transaction was performed throughout the day, those have been marked with flag Y. Now it means those transactions are ready to settle the merchant. What we understood from capture to settle flag, there are two lags. One is authorization, the other one is reconciliation. In lag 1, at the time of authorization, the flag value indicates that we have to wait for the reconciliation. However, once the 500 message is processed, that time it indicates, yes, the transaction can be used to settle the merchant. Now, these two value, N and Y, just for the reference we have used, however, there can be multiple status in between N and Y, which an acquiring bank can use. For example, in the last session, we discussed the 500 message gets failed because there was a mismatch of transaction. Acquiring bank was having 10 and post was having 11. So there was one of the transaction missing. So in that case, 500 was failed first of all. So it eventually means when it fails, okay, that time an acquiring bank can have intermediate status to indicate that as of now, the batch has been failed. Let's wait for some time to get a complete successful batch. Once it is done, then they change it finally to Y. Now we will see an example where one of the transaction is missing at the POS. So POS is having less number of transactions than acquiring bank. Here 10 and in acquiring bank it is 11. At the POS terminal, we have 10 transactions and in acquiring bank, we have 11 transactions. So first of all, we need to understand how this scenario happened. So let's take an example. Post device 
sent a 0 to 100 message request to acquiring bank and the amount of this transaction is $100 okay so when this transaction was sent to acquirer acquiring bank approved the transaction okay it eventually means acquiring bank got the approval from issuer and sent a successful response back to post so once this transaction is approved both acquiring and post machine has $100 transaction but due to some reason the post device sent a reversal back to acquirer the 400 message okay now what happened in the system is something goes wrong in the acquiring bank they sent an approval back okay to the post device but they could not log this transaction to the acquiring database so this happened in the system so what happened in this case this 100 transaction was successful this was let's assume this is a minus and then this is a plus it means when the day when this transaction was sent the customer was debited with hundred dollar when post device received this reversal they again credited back hundred dollar at the post level so at the post level this transaction is nullified so what happened in acquiring bank they debited the customer with hundred dollar but at the time of reversal this is failed so this plus hundred dollar request was not processed in acquiring bank so they have this debit transaction only which is 0 to 100 only so they don't have 400 so i hope it's clear now this scenario has happened there is 10 transaction here because they sent one of the transaction but that transaction has been nullified that was the 11th transaction for example so the 11th transaction has been nullified with 100 so counter at the post is still 10 however the counter at the acquiring bank reached to 11. let's quickly understand how the mismatch between post and acquiring bank is settled when merchant will close the business from the post machine post device will send a 500 reconciliation message to acquiring bank since there is a mismatch of total number of transactions and amount acquiring bank will simply reject the 500 message with data element 39 as 95 so 95 response they will send back to post device so when they send it back to post device two things they do in their acquiring system one is mark the batch existing batch to fail which we already discussed in the previous session okay so whatever the existing batch number was batch one they will mark it as fail because the total was not matching now additionally what they can do there were 11 transactions with flag n this flag is capture to settle flag so all these 11 transactions were marked with n when the authorization was received now when the batch is rejected the reconciliation is failed we have an option to move the status from n to some intermediate status for example from n to w w is waiting so it's up to the acquiring bank application and their design if they really want to move it to some other status they can develop their application like this or they have an option to keep the status as n also so in this example we will assume the status has been changed from n to w w is waiting so the batch is failed first time this is marked as failed and the all the 11 transaction status is changed to w now what will happen next post machine will start sending a 320 message and that time acquiring bank will open a new batch right batch 2 now post device will start sending 320 messages since there were 10 transactions in post memory so post device will only send 10 320 message when acquiring bank will receive they will start matching it with the original so for the first 10 transaction acquiring bank will be able to find the original right so they will keep marking it to y they will change the flag status from w to y from waiting to y means yes capture to settle so it means now these 10 transactions can be used to settle the merchant so when they mark this to y they will also keep incrementing the batch from 1 to 10 and the amount also so after the 10 transaction the count will be 10 and thousand dollar here however for the 11th transaction 
there will not be any 320 right there is no 320 from post device for 11 transaction so it eventually means the flag of this transaction will remain either to w or n so it is up to the acquiring bank application how it is designed whether it is w or n but in short this particular transaction cannot be captured so this transaction cannot be used to settle the merchant however these transaction 10 can be used so now once all these 320 has been submitted by the post device the post device will send again the 500 message now this time this batch 2 can be matched right with this uh, 500 message and the status of batch 2 will be marked from open to closed so now this batch 2 has been successfully reconciled with the merchant post device the batch has been settled right so now what's next once the batch is settled there were 10 transaction right with flag y and thousand dollar what an acquiring bank will do they will post these 10 transaction to their merchant management system they will post and then they will generate an outgoing file what's the name of that outgoing file is merchant payment file so this name we are using for our easy reference just for our understanding however an acquiring bank can have a different name as per their business requirement so in our example we will use this name so after posting this transaction to merchant management system an outgoing file will be generated merchant payment file this file will have the information of the merchant account number whether it is current account or saving account and the total amount to be paid let's assume throughout the day this merchant has done a business of ten thousand dollar because the merchant has three or four post devices okay so they have submitted multiple batches so all the multiple batches has been settled at the end of day the acquiring bank will post all those batches to the merchant management system and will generate the merchant payment file so let's assume this payment file will have total amount of ten thousand dollar okay so all these information will be captured in this file so now once this all this amount and the information is captured in this file now the next process is to submit this file to some other system so that actually this merchant can get this money in his current or saving account right so what that system is esb bus clearing so i'm giving three different name you can find in the market different different terminology different different integration so esb is enterprise service bus or a bus system or a clearing house system so it can be anything for us to understand there is an integration between this acquiring bank and this esb system it's a third party vendor system this esb or this middleware can accept the merchant payment file they can process this format they accept it and they can submit it to the next level so what's the next level let's suppose if this merchant has the account in the same acquiring bank so it could be possible it's going to bank a only right if the merchant is having the account in the same bank right or if let's suppose this merchant is having account in some other bank okay any other bank then this esb system can submit the file to the centralized bank centralized bank every country they have their own centralized bank for example you are doing the online transaction for transferring money from one bank to another bank you simply use your internet banking however actually what happened in the system your transaction is submitted to the centralized bank so the same example here if the merchant is having in the same account this esb system can submit directly file to the same bank pro, uh, system they can accept file and they can process this file and credit to the merchant or they can also submit to the centralized bank okay and then that file can be processed further by the centralized bank and can be credited to the merchant current or saving account so this is the complete flow of merchant settlement 
it goes through first is authorization second is merchant reconciliation and then finally you know capturing all the transaction generating merchant payment file and submitting it to the esb or bus system so once the file is processed from this system eventually it means merchant will get the money in your saving account so this was all about merchant settlement if you have any uh, suggestion any feedback or any queries you can leave a comment on my youtube channel i will try my level best to get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much